Can you just tell me a little bit about yourself, um, your name, your job, um, and what you do? Um, so my name is Duane Moses. I am the Director of Outreach and Engagement for St. Joseph Center. Um, can you talk a little bit about the work that St. Joseph Center does generally? So generally, um, St. Joseph Center, we've been servicing uh, families and individuals since 1976. We provide um, housing assistance, so wrappery housing. So we have an, uh, an amazing wrappery housing department. When people sort of see this issue, sometimes there's this idea that people don't want to get help. Mm -hmm. um, how would you respond to that? Um, I would say that's, obviously I would say that's false. You have to imagine you just come into someone as a complete stranger. Rather, I'm identifying myself as I work for this amazing organization and I have these amazing services, um, but I'm still a stranger. And so at that point, I mean, initially it may be, you know, that they're not interested, but it's really about, you know, building and developing rapport uh, with the community. Um, have you seen this progress work? Absolutely, absolutely. We're very familiar with the community here. It starts off with a, probably a first name. You know, the second time we make it the last name, then from there we're getting them open up, uh, opening up to receiving services or completing a CES where we can find and, and identify more information and also um, be able to uh, give more resources uh, to them so that they can be able to, you know, um, I guess get back to a sense of uh, normality. Um, but yeah, so just pretty much establishing a building rapport. Okay. Uh, so my name is Brianna. I'm uh, the mental health specialist with the E6 Street-based outreach team with St. Joseph Center. So outreach and engagement consist of engaging clients on the street, meeting them where they're at. So we help meet immediate need. So that's food, clothing. Um, we help folks get a uh, housing ready document. So that's like an ID, social security card, things they'll need for the housing process. Um, and then we refer them to the appropriate services depending on their needs and experiences, whether that be legal services, connecting them to medical providers, uh, mental health services, um, you name it. So two more questions. Mm -hmm. um, the first one is what motivates you to do this work and what is the best part of your job? Uh, I was born and raised on the west side, so it's been an honor to serve my community and I've always been a social justice advocate. So, you know, it's the intersection of, you know, uh, race and class, gender issues. When you talk about the history of, you know, our clientele, whether they come from foster care systems or they're of the LGBTQ plus community, um, you know, coming out of justice system, like it's an intersection of such, all those types of issues, which really makes it fascinating and complex. There's not a lot of instant gratification in this work, so it's really, it's the small that leads to the larger victory of whether it could take six, you know, we have to tell our folks it could take up for a year for them to find housing. 